Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and in this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my basic stuffed mushrooms. I have not stuffed the thing here for a while, certainly not mushrooms, and these are the most delicious, simple and easy, but so yummy and perfect for your Easter table or any table that you've got coming up because they're just really delicious and they can be served at room temperature, which is great because you can make them ahead of time, or you can make them um, last minute and serve them piping hot and they would be so delicious. So really you can't go wrong. Um, I'm using cremini mushrooms. I've already cleaned them really well with a wet napkin. Um, and what I do is I just take the stems because I'm gonna go ahead and trim them. I'm actually gonna bake them in here, but let me show you what I'm gonna do. Save the stems because I'm going to chop up the stems in just a minute, but I want to clean up that center just a little bit. Um, you can get rid of the gills or not, if that's really up to you. I just do um, sometimes, not always, but you want them to look a little something like that. And if they break up a little bit as you clean them, it's okay. It's really not a big deal. And this is also a step you can totally skip. How you like that? So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all of my mushrooms and I am going to, like I said, reserve the stems because I am going to chop them up and add them in the stuffing. I'm just gonna finely chop the stems. You can use cremini mushrooms, you can use button mushrooms. Button mushrooms are probably the most um, classic for stuffing mushrooms, but when I can find nice cremini mushrooms, I take those just because they have a bit more flavor. And they're just so darn delicious when they're stuffed, then they're cheesy, and they're delightful. Now I do have a recipe on my website, I think it's for like the cheesiest stuffed mushrooms, and I believe there's sausage in them. These don't have any meat in them, although you can add some, sure, uh, but these don't. But like I said, you can. So just finally chop those. You can also just pass this through a food processor to really chop it up nice and fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and finely mince some shallots. I'm gonna do about, let me think here. Let's do two shallots. It may be a little bit too much, but it's okay. If we have any extra stuffing, I can save it to the side. No problemo, because I've got artichokes that I can use the stuffing for, and you can actually use the stuffing, minus the mushrooms, for artichokes. Um, just stuff each leaf, and then you bake them. I actually somewhat uh, braise them first, and then I bake them, and they're just so delicious. So, you know, up to you. Whatever your heart desires, just know that around here, nothing goes to waste. Just make sure you finely chop or finely mince your shallots, or you can also use green onions, or even a regular onion. Just make sure you finely mince it, because you need that stuffing to be able to hold in the mushroom. Couple tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil, regular olive oil, but extra virgin is really preferred. I've got my shallots and my stems here. I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up a couple of cloves of garlic, because everything is just gonna go in here to sweat and cook down. I'm not necessarily looking to caramelize. Woo! I'm not necessarily looking to caramelize anything, but I am looking for this to cook down and for those stems to just become really soft um, and translucent and tender and delicious. Just very finely chop on the garlic as well. There's pretty much as much garlic as there is shallots because those were two big fat cloves, but you know what? I don't like to skimp on flavor, okay? I don't know about you, but I certainly do not. Yes, I love that instant sizzle. Love it. This is just gonna, again, like I said, just do its thing, just gentle. You don't have to rush the process. You're gonna rush any of it. In a bowl, you're gonna add some breadcrumbs. I use Italian seasoned breadcrumbs um, because I can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grate some Parmigiano Reggiano. And then the one thing that I, there's two things that I always add to my stuffed mushrooms, pretty much stuffed anything. I like to add a little bit of cream cheese because it binds everything together and it makes it so that it's not so, we would, in, in Italian, in Napoletano, we say sfrandumata, like it's not gonna be all crumbling or falling apart, it's just gonna hold, right? I did the same thing to my cheeseburger sliders and they were such a hit when I went on the Today Show and I, I actually made them on the show 
everyone said that they were probably one of the best things that they've ever had and they couldn't get over how creamy the delicious and the filling it was holding together and I said yeah it's because of the cream cheese um, and I thought it was pretty brilliant so there's that these are just cooking doing their thing I just turned it down a little bit so it was a little bit hot and then I like strong flavor and I think you need to have strong flavor in something like this so a nice little wedge of just a sharp provolone. You know you're an Italian household when you've got these hanging <laughs> in your fridge and we add them to pretty much everything. Every stuffing, scrambled eggs, a frittata, pasta, scramble, whatever. Um, because it's got really strong flavor. So it's nice to be able to add it to something mild like a, stuff, a stuffing for a stuffed mushroom. Okay. That looks good, that looks good. Set that aside. I'm gonna chop up some parsley and then I'm gonna actually add it to my stuffing here. Just wanna make sure I chop it nice and fine. I'm just gonna take some olive oil and just drizzle it underneath those mushrooms. Just a little bit. Taking some salt and adding them to that and adding it to the mushrooms as well. It just makes sense to make sure everything is seasoned, you know? Some black pepper. And now I'm gonna remove this from the heat. I'm gonna add my parsley and then I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna let the residual heat just kind of wilt it a little bit. Taking some cream cheese, I'm adding it to here. Even though I have my burner off, it's just gonna soften it. I just need this to be nice and soft so that it makes it easier to mix in with the breadcrumbs and the cheese. That is what you're looking for. It looks great. Add it right in. And now I'm just gonna mix it together with the breadcrumbs and the provolone. Oh, I just give you a stuffing bath. And then just kind of mix it together. You can even do it with your hands if you want to. It's so good, it smells so good already. Take your stuffing and be generous, okay? Be generous with your stuffing and really pack it in there. It's making my mouth salivate because it smells so good. And if some falls around the mushroom, who cares? When that bakes, it gets all crispy and delicious around the edges. And to me, that's like a cook's treat. <laughs> I like to go in there with a fork and just make myself at home, basically. Um, so that doesn't, that doesn't scare me, but you see how easy these are? Just keep stuffing. A little parmigiano like that on the top, makes things good, makes it crispy, makes it yum. Drizzle the oil into the oven, 425 minutes or so. Just you wait. A shrimp has never been so good, okay? <laughs> I just said, um, stuffed mushroom has never been so good, okay? You can also do these, by the way, in a big portobello size. Wow, that would be a delicious dinner. Um, crab stuffed mushroom, I think we've done before, but maybe we need to revisit. It's been a very long time since we've done those. We do need to revisit. I'm actually gonna pop this in and wash my hands, because you too. These are in the oven for 25 minutes. I mean, I can't even tell you how good these smell. And I have been eating the crusty bits. Yes, I have. They're actually still a little bit hot, so wish me luck. They are so good, so hot. They are so good and cheesy. The shop one is a must have for me, literally. I think the most perfect stuffed mushroom, and it's really, I think, basic, but like, look how perfect it is. It's crunchy on the top, so it's got really good texture, because I think texture is really important, especially when it comes to things like mushrooms and fillings that are really soft. I don't always love a soft food, so it has to have a bit of texture. These are dynamite. Go to laurainthekitchen.com for the written recipe. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Bake these for your Easter table. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mmm.